Willkommen. My name is Sean Huggins. I'm an American living in Germany and on this channel. I'm looking to learn all about life in Germany and Europe in general through watching silly videos and stuff on the internet with you guys. So if you enjoy, consider subscribing. We got new videos every single day. Let's just hop straight into it. So today we are back with my boy Chip Flake and we're going to be checking out his video, How I Learned German. This should be helpful because I need to learn German, obviously, since I'm living here. So let's find out how he did it. So, Shall we? I've gotten this question a lot because you guys are nosy and really <laughs> want to know how I learned the German language as a Brit. How do you do uh, it? Disclaimer though, I wouldn't call myself fluent. I understand okay, most of same. it and can hold a conversation, but you will notice within the first five minutes of talking to me that I am an Ausländer. It is still. Uh huh. Well, I mean, if you can have a full conversation and you understand everything, then I think that you're fluent, even if you're not perfect. Because to me, fluent and perfect are two different things, you know? So I, I would say he's probably fluent. I'm definitely not fluent in German. I know some and I'm always working on it, but there's still a lot of stuff when people are talking that I don't understand. I really need to increase my vocabulary and definitely my grammar as always, but really my vocabulary. But it's really yeah. cool to be able to speak more than one language as a Brit, though. <laughs> you won't find many who can, sadly. Second languages are America. usually taught in high school, and unless you're actually interested, it's another one of those things you learn to pass a test and then flush out of your brain to make room for the next test you need to pass. Same with America, too. A lot of schools in America teach second languages. I learned Spanish most of my life as a second language. But if you never have to ever use that language, as soon as you're done with that class, you kind of forget it over time. And that's what happened with me. I was always in Spanish class, but I literally never had to use it one time in my life. So I forgot everything after a while. <laughs> Personally, I was made to take French, and I still wonder to this day what would have happened if I was allowed to take Spanish. The one out of those okay. only two options that I was actually interested in at the time. Uh, obviously nothing against the French language, by the way. I just liked Spanish, and it seemed a little more useful. But no, we love forcing children to study subjects that they don't want to, and wondering why they struggle to pass the final exam. I started learning true. German once I met my partner from Germany. If you've ever had any international friends, you will know that the first thing they teach you is all the most useful curse words. <laughs> well, I mean, this is why I'm learning German because Isa, my fiance, is German and we're living in Germany because that's where she's from and she had to come back to Germany and so I followed her here to Germany and since I'm living in Germany, I need to learn German. Pretty simple stuff, but the first things that I learned were definitely all of the curse words. <laughs> Plus a handful of miscellaneous words that just sound funny to your English brain. Yep. At this point, I never actually <laughs> sat down and studied the language, and I kind of wasn't planning to. But I would just kind of absorb things subconsciously whenever I visited my partner in Germany. By the time I actually okay. made the decision to move to Germany, I already knew pretty much all the basics. But wanting to know oh. more than some random words and how to insult someone's mother, and quick in case this whole YouTube thing falls through, I enrolled in a German integration <laughs> course. Because of my previous knowledge, I was Ooh. able to skip the... The German integration course is very useful. It's a very intensive, very long course learning all about German culture and integrating into Germany. But a big part of that is learning German. And I wish that I was able to do this, but it's like a four, five, maybe six month process. And it's basically full time. And I just couldn't do it because I had to work. I had bills to pay. So I wasn't able to do it, but I wish that I could have. Section. And in total, I think it would have been very beneficial. Months, going to school every day for four hours, five days a week. I paid Damn. around 150 yeah. euros a month, so about 900 for everything. But I was able to get half of that back for passing the final exam first time, thanks to the Federal Migration Agency. Thanks to that, I was finally mm -hmm. at a point where I could survive in the wild on my own <laughs> and even get a job. But at this point, YouTube was supporting me. So I receded to a life of never leaving my house. <laughs> Since then, I never went back to school and have been improving my skills simply by being surrounded by the language while living here. <laughs> Progress is slower, but also, you know, free. Yeah, I took two night classes after work, but they're very short and it was just after work programs. And they're definitely very helpful, but most of my learning has been just from working with Germans and having German friends and stuff like that. So I think that's the best way to go as far as I have found. Like if you don't use a language and all you do is study, 
You're not going to reinforce it in your head. So I think that using the language is probably the best way to do it. But I don't know. I'm not a language expert, but that's just what learning I've been doing. Learning a language and it seems naturally to work like this has its pros and cons. For example, I'm learning how actual German people use the language. The language you learn in school might be yeah. correct, but I think it's true in every language that the native speakers completely butcher it with slang terms. Like true. literally inventing new words every week, randomly changing sentence structure and grammar rules, you're not gonna learn that stuff in school. Safe. So non-native speakers going to a country for the first time often have a hard time figuring out what they just spent the last 10 years of their life <laughs> studying. The negative, of course, then, is that I struggle with more formal German, and my vocabulary is honestly severely limited. There are many pretty basic words that I just don't know or struggle to remember, just because they're less common in regular speech. True. I've been procrastinating on this for five years at this point, Five but I'm years, probably going to have to start studying at least a little bit if I ever actually want to <laughs> be fluid. Speaking of which, I'm guessing some of you clicked on this video hoping to get some tips yourself on learning German or yeah. some other language. Teach me your ways, little tiny skunk man. And I don't want to discourage you with the just move there and pay for a course lol. So I actually have some tips for you. Typically, oh. learning a language can be broken down into four sections. Reading is probably the easiest to study. I mean, it's really? kind of wild. I have not really done too much reading in German, other than stuff that I have to read for my job. But I've been thinking about getting some very basic German books and trying that. I think that would be actually very beneficial for me, but I just never got around to it yet. And also, I'm not really sure what level I should go to. Like, I feel like I need to start with, like, literally kids' books <laughs> and work my way up from there, which I'm fine with. Like, that's not going to hurt my pride or anything, but I just got I got to make sure that that's right, though, because I don't want to buy books and then have them be too easy or too hard. So I kind of have to take some time to figure out what works best, I guess. I how much I learned just by coming here and seeing all the the signs and stuff and recognizing words and what they mean based on their context but if you don't have the ability to right. go to the country you can go there virtually there's a huge subgenre of videos on youtube of people just walking around different cities <laughs> not only can okay. you check out what the country looks like but you can see all the kinds of words used on the street signs and ads and learn some things that will be useful mm -hmm. when you actually go there in person Otherwise, there's lots of stuff you can read, especially stuff that you're actually interested in. Manga and comics are great because it's oh. mostly speech. I find books aren't as useful if you're just books? starting out since they tend to use more uncommon vocabulary and tenses. Dude, maybe that might be the move. Maybe comic books are the way to go. <gasps> Oh, I think I need to get some German comic books <gasps> or manga. Dude, oh man, get some German anime manga going on. Ooh, but if you're at an intermediate level, sick. you can read children's books. And if it's one that you've read before in your native language, that'll help a lot. You can even play video games in German. Either way, oh. if it's something that you're familiar with, it'll be easier for your brain to recognize and remember what the words you're reading actually mean. Okay. And if possible, reading German forums will also give you a more authentic experience with how Germans actually speak. Good point. Or, right. For listening, I'd also recommend just watching and listening to stuff you enjoy. Combined with subtitles, you can also practice reading. Music is oh. also really useful for remembering how certain sentences go. The catchier the song, the better. Just be aware that sometimes the grammar and such might be changed to fit better to the song, just like in English. True. That is a good point. I still need to check out some German music. I think I'm going to check out some German rap music because that's my favorite kind of music, but I still have yet to do it. But I got to do it, though. I have to do it. By the way, if you guys know any good German rappers or your favorite German rappers, let me know in the comments. I got to check out some German rap songs, I think. Writing is a really tough one. Because you can write as much as you want, you're always going to need someone to tell you if it's correct or not. True. The best way to practice writing that I've found so far is just to find native speakers to text with. Obviously, that's not super easy. As far as I know, there are language learning Discord servers out there. Uh -huh. And lots of people are willing to help you practice German if you help them practice English or any other language you know. <laughs> Writing is honest. Well, I guess I could just write with Isa in German. That's easy enough for me. My weakest skill in German, I have a bad habit of avoiding it just because English is so much easier and quicker for me to write in. As a result, I am mm -hmm. absolute garbage at spelling. I feel like just reading words, you don't like pay attention to how it's spelled. You have to 
actually write it out a couple times to remember it. That is actually a good point. I never considered that. Maybe I should start writing stuff in German. Maybe I should start doing German videos. <gasps> a lot of people have actually said that in the comments that I should start doing these videos in German, or at least some of them. Maybe it's time to switch over and maybe we'll every once in a while do a little German video. Hmm. And similarly, if you want to practice speaking, you're going to have to involve other people. Unfortunately, you really can't just speak a language even if you're great at everything else. Like, your brain yeah. knows all the words when you read them, but they don't just come into your head when you want to say something. I know yeah. you don't want to hear this, but you gotta just do it, man. Like, yeah. would you laugh at someone for speaking broken English to you? No? Then shut up and speak German. <laughs> Probably the best way- That is my biggest challenge, is getting over the mindset of not wanting to sound like a complete idiot when I'm speaking German. Even though I know that most of the stuff I'm gonna say is wrong, but no one cares that it's wrong as long as they know what I'm trying to say. It's still so hard for me to shake the feeling of like, oh crap, I don't want to sound like an idiot. I don't want to sound like an idiot. But like, no one cares. Like literally, no one cares. And I always have to keep reminding myself self of that but uh, it's just so hard man you're gonna find to practice this aside from going to a german school is to get a job over here even if you're not interacting with customers you're most likely going to be interacting with your co-workers a decent right. amount of course i'm doing whatever this is so <laughs> i don't have any co-workers which is exactly why speaking is one of my weaker skills to help combat this i actually started up a german channel where i'm only allowed to speak and write in german when oh, I'm speaking to people, it often takes cool. my brain so long to figure out how to say what I want to say. That would be a very fun experiment for me to start a German YouTube channel, but I don't know what I would make YouTube videos about. It, that's a project for later on down the road, I think, but I think that would be a cool idea, make an entire German channel that forces me to speak and write in German, come up with ideas in German, do everything in German, and because it's YouTube, I would love doing it, at least more so than my normal job, which is where I learn German now, so maybe I would actually learn a lot more German. That's a very good idea, Mr. Chip Flake. I knew I liked you for a reason. The, the conversation has long since moved on, so this is a great way for me to speak a lot, plus get a bit of reading practice in there from chat. Uh, awesome. But please only check it out if you understand German. I want to avoid people subscribing and just not watching because they don't know what's going on. In general though, my biggest piece of advice well, I'm definitely is gonna to check like, it out. believe in yourself, man. Like, seriously. The only way you're gonna learn a language is to keep doing it. And I see so many people yeah. quit because they lose motivation because they're not good enough. Bro, recognize <laughs> that what you're doing is really impressive, like genuinely. Especially if you're a Brit, or otherwise haven't actively <laughs> learned that language since childhood. <laughs> Learning a wow. whole new language is hard, unless you're a baby, I guess. Those guys are built different. But it's incredibly <laughs> rewarding as a whole new world of media, people to talk to, and memes opens up to you. Memes, and even if you only know the basics, the most important that's thing. still a bunch of new words that you didn't know before, but do now. So I hope that all answers your question. Let me know if you enjoyed this. I definitely don't mind doing more German-related content. But I do need to know if you guys actually care first. Thank you I for care. watching. Bye. Bye. Wow, that was amazing. I feel like that's exactly what I needed to hear. I think that like once a month or once every two months, I have a mental breakdown where I'm like, oh my God, what am I doing? I don't know any German. I'm not doing anything. I'm not learning anything. I'm such an idiot. Nobody likes me. <laughs> like I have a full on mental breakdown every couple of months where I'm like, why am I not fluent in German already? Why am I such an idiot? But if I take a step back and look back at how much German I know now compared to three months ago, compared to six months ago, compared to one year ago. I am learning a lot of German. It just doesn't seem like it from a day-to-day -day standpoint. And yeah, I have a bad time giving myself credit, I think. Just today, I actually went to the eye doctor here in Germany to get new prescription glasses. And I went with Isa so that she could talk to the people and translate for me any of the details that I might not get. When it came to the details of ordering the glasses and the different 
things that we had to pay for and when and when to pick it up and do all these different things. The person working there was speaking incredibly fast German and I didn't really understand a lot of the words that she was saying. So Isa had to translate that stuff to me. But for the entire eye test where the lady was testing my eyes and saying, is this one better? Is this one better? Read this, do this, do that. I was able to actually know exactly what she was saying and answer her and speak with her. And even though that's a really basic thing, I might not have been able to do that six months ago or a year ago. But today I was able to talk to her and be like, yeah, this is better. Oh, that was actually worse. Or can we go back to the other thing or whatever? So I'm making progress and I just need to remind myself that sometimes it just doesn't seem like it, but I am making progress. And Chip Flake, I appreciate you for putting out a video like that, that is encouraging people to learn another language and not be so hard on themselves sometimes. But at any rate, like I said, let me know some of your German rap choices in the comments because I got to put the pedal to the metal here with this German learning and I got to start listening to some German rap music. That's all the time that I have for today though. If you enjoyed, consider subscribing. We got new videos every single day. Check the links in the description for all of my other social media, including my vlog channel. Thank you guys so much for being here and as always, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.